Hi everyone, this is Gina, Crafty Grandma. I'm here to make another video. Surprise, surprise, takes forever, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I got um, some finished objects that I want to show you. Um, one I finished back in October, but I never I haven't showed it to you yet. And I made another one of the same thing, so um, I figured I'd show you both at the same time. This is my Tammy sweater. It's gray, dark gray, and black. And I wear it all the time because it's super warm. It's already starting to get knobby from my use. But uh, it's the extra large and it's really long. It comes past my bum, um, almost to my middle thigh. So there's my Tammy sweater. I made it with Main Street. Oh, it's backwards, of course. Dark gray and black. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Dark gray and black. And uh, I got a bunch of this mainstay from Discontinued Name Brand Yarn. And uh, for the gray, I used six of these. Um, and it is 365 yards. The black, I used one. And then I made another Tammy sweater because my niece loved mine. And so I made her one in dark. It's hunter green, also with the mainstay. But I didn't have a light green to go with it. So I went and got um, minty green from Caron Simply Soft. And hers is a little shorter because she's tiny. And so she's got little arms and it's only this long <laughs> and so there's her tammy sweater that she i always was wearing mine when i was cold and so she's like yeah i think i want one so there's her tammy sweater i know they were supposed to be pink but i can't wear pink to work so and my niece, she likes darker colors. And then I had all this pink left because they were buy two, get one free, or pink, green left. So, of the carry, carry on Simply Soft. So I started making um, Bag of Day's latest scarf out of the mint green. Whoops. And so here's that. It's very pretty. I love the stitch. It's the triangle stitch. Is that what she called it? But it's very pretty. It's from Bag o Day. And she did five rounds, but she used a bulkier yarn. And I've already done six. And I'm not sure if I want to go a couple more to make it a thicker scarf. or Because if I keep going, it's going to end up a shawl. And... and <laughs> I like to make shells. So I'm thinking I should probably quit, even though I still use one skein for the sweater and this much. So, because I started this one with the sweater, so I used one whole skein and a teeny weeny bit. And this has come out of this skein, and I still got over half a skein. It's barely used. So, and I got one more left, so I gotta find something to use up this color or I'm gonna send it to my best friend, Julie. Um, Cause she just started crocheting and I sent her a big box of stuff, um, mainly Red Heart and uh, a few of the Main Street and some other stuff that I don't really like that I got somewhere, probably on clearance and I wasn't fond of it. So I sent it to her. That way. And then I start, I've been working on the <laughs> Scraptastic Yarns, Jane over there, had um, a crochet along of a shawl. I've gotten a couple more rows done. So I'm making it a little bit further. I got uh, four more rows, no, six more rows on it from when I last videoed it. Because I was just 
to this spot. So I've got this bunch done. But it's going to be pretty. And it's made out of, yeah, what the heck is it called again? Dark Horse Fantasy Yarns. And they don't have colors, but it's like a light blue. And a medium blue. And uh, so it's coming along. I'm trying to get it done. She's doing a Tunisian one, and I haven't even started doing that yet. Because, you know, I work. And I'm trying to find an apartment or a house or something to move into. Since I moved here in November, and I'm still in my sister's basement. And then I finished something I started in September. I've uh, been trying to clean up some of my uh, whips. It was um, the Mary Maxim September um, Crochet Club box. And I, I photocopied the um, instructions so that they could get bent up and wrist twisted and stuff in case I want to make it again. Uh, I always do that. I photocopy them. So my picture that I got here is not in color, but it's project number. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't even copy it all. It's a 12 by 15 tote, like project tote. And it's really cool. It's made out of twisted yarn. And I used, uh, let's see now, the, I used two, well, not even two skeins. They sent me four skeins, well, I got something, not a hair on my mouth, uh, four skeins of the um, brown color, two of the blue and two of the green. And they don't have any colors, they're just, they're, they're twisted yarn. It's Twisted Jeans Yarn by Mary Maxim. And they, this is the bag that I made. It's made um, with uh, like, a, like a seed stitch, but not really. It's different. And since it's a paid for pattern, I can't give you the secret. But you carry the yarn all the way over. And that was my first time ever doing that. And so you can see it at the beginning, you can see the, the, the gray in it, the brown. But as I get further up, I get better at carrying it because I've never carried um, yarn that long. And you, you do like a few stitches and then you let it go. So see, you can see the uh, gray through it. And then up at the top, you can't see it at all because you, you just can't. I got better. And I didn't follow the um, instructions for the bottom because I just wanted it to be just plain because I was getting tired of doing this stitch over and over and over and over. Um, they had it just as the, the green in this stitch. And then after doing the, sleeve, the sides and the, I was just tired of doing the stitch and I just wanted to get it done. And so I have now finished another project bag. So I have a project bag to put one of these projects that I'm working on in. Um, the shawl is in my Karen Caber or, uh, Karen. She makes all the squirrel bags for Knit Pearl and Squirrel. She had this bag and I snagged it up because it's pink. I like pink and I like purple. So. And I think Care Bears are so cute. So I don't know what I'm putting in this one. Probably the blanket that's back here. Um, I started working on that last April. <laughs> yeah. And I put it in a sack when I um, got back from visiting my grandson. And the sack disappeared. I couldn't find it anywhere. And I thought that my daughter or somebody in the house threw it away but when I was packing up my bedroom and my yarn room um, to move down here with my sister I found it and so I stuck it in a bag stuck it in a box to come with me because I figured I could get it done eventually and um, it's a fiber spider pattern and I'm using super saver 
um, stripe polo, polo stripe. It's this one. Very bright pinks, very pretty colors. And I'll show it to you. This is the same one that I made, uh, the white one and the peach one. But this one's a lot, um, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love it. My niece hasn't seen this one. She might try to snag it. Um, I made a green one also when I was on my way to North Dakota during the flight and while I was visiting. And then I ran out of, I finished it, used up all the yarn that I brought with me. And one of my step grandkids snagged that one. And so I had to go buy some yarn because I couldn't ride back on the plane and have a layover at the airport with nothing to do. <laughs> and so I went and I bought some of this yarn and then I came home and I had to buy some more. And I think it's got already six, four skeins in because I think I bought four. And I went and bought two more. And when these two are done, it's done. I don't care how big it is. That's just how it's going to be. And I'll probably give it to the other step-grandchild um, when I go in April. <laughs> and I still got to get one done for my grandson. I started one and I brought, I got it up there. It's very pretty. I don't know where. I'll have to find that one and dig it out because it's all in a bag and it's made with... Uh, um, yeah, DK Colors, the moss, and I started it, ran out of yarn, bought six more, then I found three more, so I bought those two. So I have nine skeins of yarn, so it can be big. Um, it probably should fit his queen size bed. And then I also, um, started another Tammy sweater. I don't know if I showed this to you or not. Made out of the latte cake. But I only have three of this color. I could only find three. And this is one. And so I don't know if I'm going to have enough to finish it in this color. And it is the grinding teal. Grinding teal. And so I don't want to keep going until I get at least one more because if this was one, this is, I still have two inches to go for the one side. So that means I need two to finish the back and front because this is the back and the front. And I don't know if one will do both the sleeves or because this is, okay, wait, I'll do that again. This one needs two more inches to finish one half. So I at least need one more plus two more inches and the back, and the back strip to finish the back. So I'm thinking that will take two. The sleeves, I'm thinking will take at least one, probably two, and I don't want to start doing that and not have enough and to get all that work. So I want to have at least one more, probably two. So if anybody knows where I can get some grinding teal, let me know so I can find it. There's none online. I keep checking like every other day. Or if somebody wants to trade some grinding teal for something that I got, one that I got, I'll be glad to do it just because I want to finish this sweater. Look at that. It's so, so, so soft. Otherwise, I um, might just start one in gray and turn this into a big blanket because it will. And then I can use any colors. And that's probably what I'm going to do. Just turn it into a blanket. About, uh, I don't know, I'm five feet two or whatever. So about five feet long. <laughs> Or I can take it apart and make it a little bit shorter because the way I made it right now, oh no, I can't make it any shorter. My fat will hang out. <laughs> so, yeah. Thinking I may, might make this grinding teal into a blanket because I bought some purple and I bought some, oh here, I'll just show you what I got. I bought 
this one. It is the rose scented. And then I got this one is the plum. I got one of these and two of these and seven gray. So I have enough to make the sweater out of gray, but I already got a gray tammy sweater. So I didn't really want to make another gray one, but that's the only one they had a bunch of at the, that one at that um, Michael's. And uh, they had like two of everything. Well, they had like five of this one, but I need six to make a sweater to fit me. So, and they only had two of these. I thought I got a blue one, a blue striped one too. I might have got a blue striped one too. It might be over there in the, in the drawer. But this one, they're so soft. I love the latte cakes. I think they'll make a great sweater. Or I could uh, rip it out and use a bigger hook so it goes further faster. I don't know. We'll see. Right now I'm just sad because I wanted to... Uh, a sweater out of it. Oh, and I did go make it with a size four hook, a four millimeter, a G6, because I didn't like it um, more open. That The other gray one is more open, and so I wanted it a little tighter. I also made my nieces with it. I went down a size two um, so that it would be more, more warm. And let's see, what else do I got? Oh, I think that's it. Oh, in my kit for Mary Maxim, I had this much left. There's a whole skein of each one of these and all these little balls here. So I think there's enough that I could make a whole nother bag, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> but, and, and this, this is definitely bag or basket yarn. It's not... It's not super soft, but it's not really rough either, but it's definitely, oh, well, that's how you squeeze it too tight. <laughs> you definitely uh, would, I would like to make another basket maybe, or I might just send that to my friend Julie too, the whole works. She, uh, since she's new and she, she has four granddaughters and a grandson. She has plenty of, she can make plenty of stuff for those guys. Um, and she's got uh, lots of kids to uh, make blankets, and she's made a blanket for her mom already. And she's only been crocheting since summer. So I'm very proud of her. She's doing a great job, and she's doing uh, a fan, a puff, puffy fan stitch blanket right now. She, I don't do blankets. It usually take too long. I mean, these ones are super fast because they go in a square, and... Uh, you're working on all four sides. They just grow. I, I like that. So, but I don't like the granny squares because there's too many holes. And this just has like just a few holes and it makes a pretty little square. So fiber spider, good pattern. Oh, let's see what else did I get here. Oh, I did get my, uh, I don't know if I showed you my crochet bag from, uh, Mary Maxim, because I am in their club. Uh, it's this. But they didn't send me gray. They sent me blue. So, I don't know. But then they also have this one on the back. Oh, hold it up so you can't read it. Which is real pretty, too. But, oh, they did send me gray. So they sent us the stuff to make two shawls. Which, that is so cool. I love the Mary Maxim Club because they send you plenty of yarn to do whatever they, their pattern is and always some extra. Or they send you like two patterns and it's only like 20 bucks, including shipping. I am in the, I, I canceled my beading one. I canceled the plastic canvas one. And I canceled the... something else. Oh, the, the ornament. 
because they're I don't have time to do all those but my last uh, I canceled them in January so I didn't get them in January but I did get it in December and here's the little December one for the plastic canvas I don't know where my knitting one is should be on this shelf I got here but uh oh Yeah, I don't know. So I've been working a lot, and they um, have decided to move me to Kansas City, Missouri. So I moved from Michigan to Kansas City, Kansas, or Overland Park, Kansas. Now I'm moving to Kansas City, Kansas. <laughs> At least my job is, um, as of right now. Um, I'm looking for a house there now instead of here because they can't make up their mind where they're going to put me. Um, a lot of stores need workers and I need a store. Um, oh, by the way, I'm an assistant at the Dollar General. And uh, I just transferred down and they were pretty good about getting me hooked up down here. And... Uh, so now we're just waiting to see where I'm going to finally be. Um, what else is going on? Not a lot. Everybody in the house got sick and I didn't get it. Knock on wood. <laughs> but I don't usually, I'm usually work opposite ships, ships from all of them. So I didn't get to uh, spend a lot of time with them until the last week. And they were all over it. So I'm hoping... That it passed me. <laughs> um, let's see what else is going on. I don't know. My niece is going to get her restricted driver's license today. I'm a little bit scared about that. Um, she is a good driver. and uh, But she'll be on the road alone. Kind of worried. But congratulations, Alyssa. You're officially a... A driver <laughs> she also got a job she's gonna be a barista so I'm happy for her she's 15 uh, what else is going on it's really hard there's not a lot of excitement oh Kansas City won the Super Bowl yesterday great game um, I don't even like football and I watched the end of the game the last half um, from work <laughs> at work on my phone <laughs> and we we enjoyed it. Um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what else is going on. There's not a lot. Um, the weather's been warm the last two days. Going to get cold again. We're supposed to get some freezing rain for my birthday. Uh, duh, I knew that was going to happen. I was actually expecting snow like four or five feet because that's usually what happens. But I hear we're going to have some freezing rain. At least that's what's in the forecast as of today. Still might be snow. Might be freezing rain. Doesn't matter. I got the day off. <laughs> I actually got the day before and that day off. So I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, my husband is going from uh, Nebraska down to Arizona or New Mexico, maybe Texas, um, next week or the week after. So he'll be going where it's warmer. I want to kind of go with him. <laughs> uh, even though it's going to start warming up. I mean, winter's almost over. Uh, Got to be uh, optimistic that it will end eventually. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Gonna go get my, uh, see my, my grandson in April because of my grandson's birthday. I won't be going to the summer fest or the knit fest or crochet fest, whatever the heck that spring fest. I'm going to miss that because it's the weekend or the week right before my grandson's birthday and I can't take off two weeks from work. But I could always quit my job and come on up. <laughs> I don't think my husband would like that, but I could try. 
Uh, well, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch me. Um, I want to thank you, Lori, for the shout out. No, not Lori. Sandy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, left is right. Cro crochet is Sandy. And she lives close to me. We're, we're going to hook it up before uh, too long. Just schedules suck. And uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button and su subscribe. And thanks for taking the time out of your day. Have a great day. Thank you.